Hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki. Welcome to our outdoor testing studio where today I am going to take out of this fairly indiscriminate box a super cool off-road truck. I'm gonna take it outside, play with it first. So you can see that because I know that's what really entertains you. Then I am going to give you my review from one to five on the Doug score. And then finally, if you're still interested in this, hang around, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna to talk to you about all of the different features of it and show you what it comes with and see what we like or what we didn't like, but all that's in the past. Right now, let's go play with it. Okay, you saw the flights, the stunts, the driving around at 40 plus kilometers per hour. This thing is ridiculous. Even my secret co-pilot, the beautiful pink wearing Miss Nikki, who won't come on camera and admit it, Hat was driving this for all those stunts you saw. I was the cameraman, she was the driver. She did awesome. This thing is awesome. Nothing to say other than a full five out of five on the Doug score. If you're still interested, let's go do that unboxing. All right, you're back to the past here. You've seen it run, you've seen the review. Now let's open it up and you with me can see it for the first time and what it comes with and talk about the features. So let's first talk about the main feature that is really exciting to me is it is massive. This is a one tenth scale, meaning like giant truck and it goes ridiculously fast according to the statistics it should be able to go up to 48 kilometers an hour 48 kilometers an hour with oh look at that <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. It's a little weird because I know you've seen this already, but I'm seeing this for the first time and this is ridiculously cool. Oh, check that out. Let's take this off. Oh, look at that. It comes with two bodies. It comes with two bodies. It comes with like a yellow body and it comes with this cool orange body. Check that out. That is awesome. And um, so let's talk about that. Let's see. Hmm, I guess I should switch to the yellow body. Or should I do the orange? All right, I'll have to figure that out for myself. Okay, so let's talk about some of the basic features. One, one that you need to know, they have heavy duty, four wheel independent suspension. Look, you can see how reinforced that chassis is. It has a full 540 style brushed, high performance RC car motor. The shocks are metal, and it actually has two differentials for its four wheel drive system, which is super cool. I can see it has functioning headlights. This thing is awesome. Comes with two batteries. Here's one, the other one is already in the car. And in addition, I could see that the motor comes with heat sinks on it. So for to maintain that high performance, even if it would normally get hot. Let's see, here is the instruction manual. I always recommend you read the instruction manual. These things are all just a little bit different, enough to annoy you if you don't read it. If you read it, you just go out there first shot, you play with it, it's perfect. If you don't read it, it's a little bit like, mm. Why isn't it doing this? Why isn't it doing that? All right, let's see what else we got. What comes, what comes in the bag? 
I'm not gonna take it all out and apart, but I can tell you, it comes with lots of spare clips and hardware in case you were to lose something. Comes with two chargers, which I will show you, and I appreciate that it comes with two chargers for the two batteries, but it should come with the wall plug. I say it so, over and over again, DERC, you need to start including the wall plug because Doug said so. But uh, those are those basic functions. And then let's look at the last thing, the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, why is that important? Well, the 2.4 gigahertz means you're gonna have a much cleaner radio signal, even at a longer distance. So, so that's important. Okay, so here we got the controller, you have the throttle, you have a trim for speed, trim for steering, on, off, and this obviously controls the steering. Normally, I would say we should go out and play with it, but you already saw that. I just didn't get to play with it yet. So, I'm gonna tell you thank you for coming. I hope this was helpful, and I'm gonna go play with it. See you next time.